Guys, we did it. We hit 10,000 subscribers. I've recorded this 10 times now, and I just, I can't come up with the right words to say thank you. So I'm just gonna say thank you. I really don't know what to say. You guys are amazing, and I can't believe we actually made it this far. I never thought this channel would make it this far. If I told myself two years ago today, you're gonna have 10,000 subscribers in two years, I wouldn't believe it. And that is the most cliche thing I've ever said. Anyway, the point is, thank you guys. I love you all. So in today's video, I'm doing a setup tour and Q&A. Let's just get right into it, starting with the setup tour. Okay, shitty jokes aside, here's the actual setup tour. Okay, starting off, we got the door. I got all the homies to sign it. Exit sign in case they can't find the way out. Got my pet snake. This is where my setup used to be on this small little desk right here. Just got a monitor just sitting there, not in use currently. That's that, uh, there's just posters all around here. LED lights. Got the mini fridge. Got the TV, this is where I watch movies or play games with the homies. We got PS4, Xbox One, my bed. This is where I uh, sleep. And then, and then we got this dude over here. We got the most important part of the gaming setup, DX Racer. Sarcasm, by the way. But it is a really nice chair. I just got it a few weeks ago and it's been doing awesome. For the mouse, I got the Ninja Final Mouse Air 58. Really good. Corsair mouse pad, I got it from Best Buy for like 20 bucks. It's one of those huge ones. I do use all this mouse space right here because I like to play with a low sensitivity. For the keyboard, we got a Ducky 1 TKL. Monitor is a 144 hertz BenQ. I don't know the exact model. By the way, I bought this keyboard and mouse off my brother for $100 total, really good deal. He's a homie, thank you for being a homie. He also gave me this monitor with that Supreme sticker on there. The second monitor over here is just some 60 hertz one that does the job for reading chat, having Discord open, that my other brother gave me. I think you'll notice a pattern. My brothers give me a lot of shit. In fact, the phone that I'm recording this on is my brother's old phone replacement, so. For the webcam, we got a Logitech C920. I think that's the model. It's really good. Captures some Face cam action pretty good. It, it does a good job. That's the point for the microphone. We got the blue Yeti I love this microphone. It was definitely worth the purchase. The sound quality is amazing mic stand I got off Amazon Can move in all different directions. I just like to have it in front of me like that the Headset is a steel series Arctis Pro I believe Arctis something anyway I got the wired version because who wants to have to charge their headset am I right? Then we got Google Home, which is really unresponsive. It, it even responds to, okay, boomer. See that? You can't do a hard R boomer though, or else it doesn't work. And then we got the, the beautiful beast over here. The actual computer, you can see me recording with my phone. I don't know all the exact specs, but I do know this cooler is a deep cool, because it says right there, <laughs> CPU cooler. The motherboard is an MSI something something gaming. 16 gigabytes of RAM. The graphics card is a GTX 1060. CPU is Intel i7-6D700K, I believe. My cousin built it. It works like a beast. 
Uh, it's got a 500 gigabyte SSD, so as you can imagine, that ran out pretty quick, and I had to buy myself one of these external hard drives. And yeah, that's basically the whole setup. I did forget to mention this desk. It's awesome, it's one of those L-shaped ones, so there's a lot of room on here. I got it for under 200 bucks on Amazon, and it's like, it, it folds too, like you could just fold the legs in. I'm not gonna do that obviously because it's stationary, it's my setup. But uh, it was really easy to put together. Got it for under 200 bucks. It's really sturdy, especially for being on a carpet. And uh, yeah, it works awesome. So that's my setup. So starting off with the Q&A, we got the question, do you eat poopy? No, no, why would you even ask that? What the heck is wrong? I'm kidding, man. No, no, I don't though. Like, I mean, if we're being serious here, maybe just a little bit, but no, not. It's, it's only for occasions. Should you subscribe to Seth Shore? You definitely should do that right now. Like, I'm not joking. Go do it right now. Did you think your channel would get this far? Yes and no at the same time. I mean, I always hoped it would, obviously. I never really thought I would get this far, like, realistically speaking. But then there's that one part of my brain that always daydreamed. And I was like, yeah, I'm gonna get there, definitely. Have you ever won money in a cash cup? Nope. I don't play cash cups. Too sweaty for me. Do you like meme strats like sky bases and healing in the storm? I love them. Have you ever played with a pro player? If you mean like Tfu or like, you know, the pros who get thousands of viewers on Twitch, then no. How big are your toes? Okay, I got the measuring tape. Let's see. Let's see. Okay, my big toe, three and a quarter inches. To reveal at 25,000 subscribers. Can you please play other games on your channel like Rainbow Six Siege? I know you posted on your second channel, but I made more videos of other games. Thanks. Yeah, I mean, I posted a Minecraft video. I, um, most of my subscribers don't really want to see other games, let alone anything besides spending sprees. So it's kind of hard to do that and not screw over my subscribers. But I will definitely upload other games. I'm trying to diversify my content. Is diversify a word? Let's just say it is. When do you plan on doing a face reveal? I have done a face reveal. Well, I mean, I do have webcam videos and I use my webcam in my stream sometimes. Does your mom like when you steal her credit card? To be clear, I don't steal her credit card. I log into her PayPal account. Cha-cha real smooth. You should do a giveaway too, just saying. Look in the description, I've got a giveaway going for the next few days. Is your goal to become like Italk, Fortnite, and Pizzo? No, I mean I have made like the item shop videos, but I only did that for like a week and then stopped. They just weren't really my thing, and I like to upload quality over quantity videos. And when I upload an item shop video, it feels like I didn't put any effort in. And they would get like over a thousand views for each one. And I just, yeah, I don't want to spam my channel with videos like that. Anyway, getting off topic, my goal is just to have lots of different kinds of videos. I'm not really trying to copy any YouTuber in particular. Do you like cows? Yes, they taste very yummy. Hamburgers are good. Do you want to play some Minecraft with me? I don't play Minecraft all too much, but if I'm ever on, just hit me up. What inspired you to do YouTube? Well, when I was little, I watched a lot of YouTubers and... I just always thought it would be cool to make my own YouTube videos, so as soon as my dad let me make my own channel, I spammed that shit with so many videos that were terrible, but I enjoyed doing it. And then slowly my content evolved over the last 7-ish years, and uh, yeah, that's how I am where I am now. You just reached 10,000, congratulations. Well, actually, we reached 10,000. This wouldn't be possible without you guys. Do you have a favorite console like PS4 or Xbox Switch? I'm gonna have to say Switch. PS4 and Xbox are basically the same in my eyes, just different branding. Uh, Switch though is very unique, how you can just take it on the go or plug it into the TV. I like the Nintendo Switch, very neat concept. What was your reaction to your first viral video? My reaction, I was just really excited and I was just thinking it's finally happening, I finally got a viral video. Because I've uploaded hundreds of videos and that's never happened until that spending spree blew up. What tips do you have for newer YouTubers? What made you start YouTube? Already went through the start YouTube part. But newer YouTubers, just keep uploading, improve your content. And um, do it if you want to do it. Like, do it if you enjoy making videos. Don't do it if you're just here for like the subscribers and fame and money. 
Because you're not going to have a fun time if that's what you're here for. Have you ever dated someone? Well, in second grade, so I'm just going to say that doesn't count. How old are you? I am 15 years old. Congrats, man. Really proud of you. Love the content. I'm really glad you enjoy it. Thanks, man. I will definitely keep it up. Why do you start making videos? Already went through that. And could you do more challenge videos? Because I absolutely love them. I definitely will do more. I'm just waiting for Fortnite to add some new items or whatever. So I can actually do some unique challenge videos. But yeah, definitely this next season, I will probably be making some more of those. Do you have a girlfriend or wife? And if yes, what's her name? The quick answer is no. The long answer is no. Damn, bro. You got the whole squad laughing. What's your size? And also, uh, congrats, I guess. Well, my size, I think you're talking about my toes. I don't know. Uh, we went through that, like, th what, what was it? Two, th three inch? Three and a quarter inches? I don't know, something like that. But if we're talking about shoe size, <laughs> my shoe size is...